Halima, thank you very much indeed for reminding us of the breadth of engagement of SOAS students and also uh, the message to us of the importance of students holding SOAS true to its values. In concluding this ceremony, I would like to add my own personal congratulations to all our graduating students. As I said at the beginning, graduations are a highlight of the academic year for the SOAS community, and I think you managed to see this afternoon why. For our students, our academics, and our professional services teams, for our board of trustees, partner organizations, and local community, and of course, for the family, friends, colleagues, and supporter of our graduates. Thank you all for the part that you have played. I'd also like us to thank the staff who helped to organize for graduation. We it's a huge logistical operation. It runs very smoothly at the top and underneath we're all paddling away like mad. Thank you very much. And, to, and also to the musicians, SOAS musicians who have delighted us uh, before, during, and you will also see in the reception uh, this afternoon, a huge thank you to the musicians who have delighted us. I'm very proud to be the director of a university known across the world for its scholarship, its high level of critical engagement, and its impact on the way we think about our world. Given the global challenges we face, SOAS is at the forefront of informing and influencing, researching and teaching, being critical and challenging. Because even as our world is becoming more interconnected, it is also becoming more fragmented. So we cannot be complacent. So as graduates, you are part of the hope for the future. Because you will be the policy makers, the humanitarian workers, lawyers, artists, writers, journalists, politicians, thought leaders, and entrepreneurs, who we know going forward will do your part to ensure a better world. Your ability to engage critically to ask the questions that no one else will, to build bridges and engage across communities and cultures is very special indeed. Part of the difference we make as a school is through celebrating our diversity, our commitment to understanding the world. Global is in our DNA and is a key part of our academic success. This year, we have continued to refresh our academic strategy and focus on how best to improve the student experience. Because it's important that we look to the future of the global university and plan how we can best keep pace with the changes in higher education provision around the world so that we remain excellent and true to our values. I hope that today marks the beginning of the next stage of your relationship with SOAS. You're now part of an incredible community across the world, one of the estimated more than 100,000 people who have received their education here in the past 100 years. We will follow your careers with enormous interest, so please help us to keep in touch with you by making sure that the careers team or the alumni team have your contact information, because we want to continue to support and engage with you. Many of our alumni have agreed to mentor current students, to share insights and career experiences. And it's all invaluable advice to those who will come after you. Today is a chance again to thank all of those people who have supported you through your studies. So before I close, I would like to ask you to rise and join me in a round of applause for your parents, relatives, sponsors, friends, and supporters.
thank you. Oh, well. <laughs> Just hold on a while. You can do that in a moment. I'm nearly done. I offer you all my best wishes for the future. David and June have given you very sound and wise advice. Please do think about the remarks they made to you today, because it can look like a daunting world out there. I'm confident that your experience at SOAS has helped you to prepare for it. Be bold, be brave, learn from your mistakes, embrace your passion. Have a wonderful day. But before we leave, we're going to try to do one last thing because we've been trying to perfect the SOAS selfie <laughs> from the stage. Can you imagine? Um, I'm probably one of the oldest people on the stage, so trying to do this is a bit of a task. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to invite some of us to stand up. We're going to try and take the selfie from the stage. We'll count down and ask you to raise your hats. Please don't throw them because they're kind of heavy. Um, then please just stay. Um, once we've taken the selfie, we will uh, leave and then you can go back, meet your family, friends, take photographs, hug each other, and you'll be late like mad. <laughs> right, who's going to help me here? Halimo, Mira, June, David, let's go. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Have a great deal of fun.